Hello and welcome. In this episode, I'm adding plants, moving fish, and we've got new babies. Let's get started with these new Australian Red Claw Crawfish. They arrived in a box uh, last week and uh, ever since they arrived, they have taken all of my free time. I love watching these little guys. They love to eat and uh, they're very active. They're so much fun to watch. I plan on doing a separate video featuring these guys and how I plan on adding them to my aquaponic system. So stay tuned for that video. Like I said, I spent most of my free time watching these guys, so I didn't even get a video done last week. What I managed to get done though is to move the uh, catfish fingerlings from their um, quarantine tank and finally they're going to join the other four catfish in this big tank. Um, the drum in this big tank I should say. And uh, so I, uh, there are 12 of them in here with this bucket and there were four that I put in initially. So there will be 16 total. So what I did was I uh, put the bucket in the water um, and then every few minutes I added more, a, a little bit of uh, the water from the tank into the bucket just to get them to acclimate to the um, water in their new tank. And uh, they seem to be doing okay so far so good. Uh, they're very active. And I'm trying to get them to leave this bucket and to go into their new home. Come on, little guys. Come on out. They are a little skittish right now. Come on. Can't hold on to that bucket forever. There we go. Good fishy. Now let's see if I can get the rest of them to leave this bucket. go there's more of them yep I think that's one the last one all of them 16 all together now it's time to add more plants to the system I have some watermelon radish already germinated in that six pack you see there and I have these garlic cloves on my kitchen counter that sprouted. So I thought, you know, why not um, plant them right here in this grow bed in some seed starting mix and see how they do. I uh, saw a little uh, a post on a Facebook group that uh, showed a guy who planted uh, some root crops successfully using uh, six packs like this so I thought uh, I would give it a try and see how they will do there all done I did a little bit of cleaning up in this media bed and managed to save a bunch of these little um, plants right here. These are called bang ha, which is um, a uh, vegetable that's used in Vietnamese cooking. Uh, we, it's very popular in our soup called ganjuo. 
It is a type of elephant ear. The leaf is going to grow very, very large. And over here, I made another support for 19 net cups. In these net cups, I decided to place some bok choy seedlings that I started in some seed starting mix. Um, and I'm placing it directly in the cup without any media. I haven't grown it like this before, but I want to see if this technique works. The reason why I decided to not use any media is because of these strawberry plants. Uh, remember, I just cut them, uh, the runners, from my original strawberry plants and placed them directly in these net pots. And um, within a couple weeks, the roots started to grow and there's no media in there. So I was thinking, well, you know, if it works without adding any media, then why bother? So we'll see if it works well for the bok choy. I plan on adding more plants in the next few days. I hope you enjoyed this video. So this is all I have for now. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you soon. Bye.